here's another surge. I'm talking mm -hmm. about gun sales here. Up, what, 134% over the last year. 134%. That is a surge indeed. Now, take a look at Brownells sales. That's a major league's uh, 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 firearm company. Uh, sales up 90%. Ammunition sales up 30%. And they're selling most of this online. Their web traffic up 60%. Come back in again, Pete Brownell. He is the co-chair of Brownells and a frequent guest on this program. We're happy, glad to have you back. Pete, what kind of firearm are most people buying? Very glad to be back. Right now, people are buying their personal protection pistol. So that's going to be your, your Ruger, your Glock, and your uh, M&P from Smith. Those are the predominant brand selling right now. They're using it to protect themselves at home, followed quickly by their home protection shotgun, followed up by the, uh, the ever popular AR-15. When did this surge start? Was it when this, we started to see some violence in our cities? Actually, Stuart, it started before that when COVID started, right around March 14th. The industry had its, its first big run up and it's, it started uh, right there at the end of March. And it's continued on at those paces that Nick's checks are indicating. It's been an unbelievable demand specifically targeted around those urban areas in America. I am told that there's a supply shortage of ammunition. Ammunition. Is that accurate? Yeah, Stuart, it is. You know, matter of fact, if, if we would receive 9mm, we could receive truckloads of 9mm. We can sell it in hours where it would used to take weeks to, weeks to a month. You expect this surge to continue? I do, Stuart. I, I think that we're going to have a uh, events are going to be happening throughout the next couple of months. The polit political forefront, uh, this this COVID, uh, uh, trying to find some kind of solution for COVID and to defund police movement is driving uh, people to worry about personal security and is still going to have a demand that's going to outstrip supply. We're going to be seeing this, I believe, until Q3 of next year. That is an astonishing surge indeed. Pete Brownell, thank you very much for joining us, sir, with valuable information. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you.